Uh, I'm going to talk about Sister Rosemary Conley. Uh, she's rather an icon here in Chicago. She is the executive director president of Misericordia Home up on the north side. Originally met Sister Rosemary in 1986 when they were doing the very first Misericordia Candy Days. And that was when they were going to get people out on the street to collect money. And I'd been at Misericordia before because my, my brother lived up there, but at the first meeting, Sister Rosemary got up and, and, and talked. She spoke with um, such passion, uh, such clarity, and such purpose. I mean, just to hear her talk, you wanted to get on board, you wanted to get involved. I mean, because she just, uh, she, she had this passion for what she did for uh, children uh, and young adults with disabilities and mental disabilities. She really impacted me in a number of ways. I think the first thing she taught me is um, don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to ask friends, family, and people to get involved, whether it be going out to collect money, whether it be just to write a check or, or come to an event. The second thing, and is, and, and is really this whole thing I talked about earlier, Sister Rosemary talked with passion, she talked with clarity, she talked with purpose. Um, not a long-winded person, but when she talked, you listened to her. And um, what I've learned from her, and this is in my professional life, and even in other not-for-profit organizations that I've been involved with uh, since Misericordia, is if you have a passion for something, um, it's easy to talk about this stuff. It's easy to talk and, and really express yourself and do it in such a way that you're clear, concise, and to the point. And again, when you do it, ask for help. The third thing, and this is what I saw really in, in the very first candy days, is not only could this woman, Sister Rosemary, talk, but she had action. She was out on the street uh, the very first morning collecting money. And she said, I wanted to go out there because I had to learn how this is done. I wanted to learn the reaction of people. I mean, you're having, in a day, thousands of interactions when you're putting a can in someone's face and saying, would you give to Misericordia? So she went out there and she did it because she wanted to see actions speak louder than words.